Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I wanted to update you guys a little bit with my progress on the Diablo 2 character. And this is going to probably be the last progress video since we have Grim Dawn tomorrow. Um, so this is the same character you guys saw from the video a few days ago. Oh, a Demon Hide Sash. What's that? Um, the only thing different is that I am in hell now with this character. Everything has been pretty much self-found with the exception of this IO rune that I found for my weapon. But I actually ended up finding two IO runes, so it's basically all the exact same thing. Um, so this would be the highlight of pretty much what, I, what I've done since then. Um, this is a weapon crafted with basically a dull IO, which makes a white. Uh, and you can find this on basically white bases to socket. If you guys are unfamiliar with like rune words, you can use a website called Rune Wizard and you can like kind of theory craft like all, not theory craft, but you can kind of see like what all the rune combinations do. Um, so that's really important. We're still utilizing the same skills. I've got teeth, bone spear, bone spirit, um, too many points in the bone armor, really should have just put one. And then I've got a blood golem to help tank. Um, now, one thing I do notice is when I got into hell, I noticed my clear speed fell down like drastically. So if you might want to switch to like poison if you want to be a more offensive build, or maybe even try out like corpse explosion and see how that works. Uh, teeth isn't necessarily bad, but I noticed the damage does fall off a lot later on. Um, so we're going to kind of have to see with that. But just to go over the rest of my gear, got a pretty good circlet. Uh, here's my amulet of luck, uh, some res rings, a shitty belt. I'm still using stealth in my chest piece, chance guards for magic find, sanders for movement speed, ancients pledge. Um, so all pretty basic gear still. My mercenary is unfortunately using some shitty gear as well. Uh, I really have to gear him out. And then I think that's pretty much everything. So... Let's go ahead, and we're actually about to fight Diablo in hell. Uh-oh. Where are they going? There we go. Just move this around. Okay. I think that's Mr. Diablo. Uh oh. Oh, you know, I can't click the mana potions because the screen's flickering. Not even death? Uh oh. Let's see how this goes. Hey, Alkaiser, go help the golem. Alkaiser! Alkaiser, help the golem! You're so- you won't even help the golem! Go help him! Alkaiser literally just ran to that beam and took no damage. God confirmed, boys. And look, a Hyperion Spear. So that's pretty much how bossing works. It might look pretty boring, but it works very effectively. Basically, all you do is you can summon like a Blood Golem or even a Clay Golem. Um, and I only have like literally one point in my Golem. I just have points in the Mastery. And they're able to tank no problem. I like the Blood Golem because of the healing it does. It makes it so I don't have to continuously pot, which is really nice. Uh, let's go to town and see what we found. Dakot Kane! Did we find anything good? Life Leech on a belt? Physical damage taken reduced by 11%? What is this? This looks OP, except I don't use Life Leech. Feels caster, man. This looks like an OP belt. I'm gonna go bank this. Even though I'm probably not playing until the next ladder, but that's okay. Alright, what else do we find? Let's do it, boys. Uh, I also found... That's poo-poo. That's poo-poo. Uh, that's poo-poo. That's poo-poo. That's poo -poo. Some more poo-poo. Uh, okay. That's pretty much it. What's in here? Uh, garbage, garbage, gar- That's okay. Druid skills. Sivurb's Siver icon? That's an okay charm. 26 lightning res. 
But yeah, so I will tell you that overall I had a lot of fun playing this league. I feel like every time I play Path of Diablo on the resets, even if it's only for a couple days to a week, the game becomes a lot more enjoyable for me because I, I learn a lot more about my characters. And I kind of prefer this way of playing kind of self-found because it really does help me understand the game a lot. There is a trading feature that you guys can check out. Um, I think it's it's Path of, I don't know, it's the from the Path of Diablo website. You just have to have an account to do it. Um, but it's very similar to like how PoE Trade works since PoE Trade is literally like, well, PoE's trading is literally like the same thing as Diablo's trading, and I really don't like that personally, so um, I kind of just stay away from it and kind of just play this game like self-found. Um, and uh, this character is currently level 79, so this character did really well, and I, I know for a fact there's a ton of things I can upgrade to, like I could use a, a spirit shield, I'm pretty sure, which is much better. These gloves could be replaced with anything. I have technically like a helmet option here, I evolved my helmet and got two sockets, and I was going to use two runes to get like uh, cold res and some other res, and then I was going to use these boots that I found to swap in for my sanders, um, but I just didn't end up going the whole way with that. But yeah, overall I had a lot of fun. I'll still play for a little bit more, get to like hell cows and see kind of where I progress from there, but that's pretty much about it. I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys are enjoying your Path of Diablo season. Let me know what classes you decided to play in the comments below. But for now, I am out. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. And I'll see you boys all tomorrow with some Grimdon content. Have a good one.